discovery on an East Granby school bus closes schools today. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski joins us now live. And Eliza, what do we know about this case so far? Yes, yeah, Stephanie, it's a really interesting case. So it's an extra long weekend for students and staff here in East Granby. Parking lots completely empty today as school is closed after a child unknowingly walked off of a school bus yesterday afternoon with a package of drugs. Now the school district is saying that those drugs were tested and came back as crack cocaine and fentanyl. I cringe thinking about it. It's crazy. An email sent out to parents saying an elementary school student walked off the bus Thursday with a folded piece of paper filled with drugs. It's really concerning that this would be happening in a small town, that it was found, you know, by elementary school kids. In that email, parents were notified that the drugs were tested and came back as crack cocaine and fentanyl. State police are investigating. So and Ashley Alexander had the tough conversation with her two fifth graders this morning as to why school was canceled. It was a big conversation piece for us this morning. Just what would you do if you found something? Would you even know what a white powder was or, you know, anything else? Now, we are still trying to figure out exactly how those drugs ended up on that bus, but I spoke with some parents earlier, and they tell me that the buses are shared between the high school, middle, and elementary schoolers. Now, M and J bus is the transportation system that East Granby uses, and they have no comment at this time. We also did reach out to the Board of Education, and we are still waiting to hear back. Reporting live in East Granby, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.